Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com and we are here with lesson number 33 on learning how to use the Raspberry Pi. If you've been with us through the first 32 lessons, you learned how to install the operating system, you learned how to back up your SD card, you learned how to operate the machine, operate the Raspberry Pi from the Linux terminal window and the command lines. So we learned to do everything that we needed to do by using quick and simple commands from the command line. Okay, In the more recent lessons, we learned how to run Python from the command line, and we learned how to control the GPIO pins. We learned that we can write to the, we can do digital writes to the GPIO pins, we can simulate analog writes using PWM, and we learned how to do digital reads from the uh, GPIO pins. And so at this point, you can do anything that you want to do on the Raspberry Pi from the command line. Okay, now that you have learned Linux, now that you know how to program, there actually is a graphical user interface. If you don't know about it, I will tell you about it now. When I set you up, I had you boot in the terminal window so that you would actually learn how to use it. Now that you know how to use it, you can actually explore or play around a little bit with the graphical user interface. So how do we get to that graphical user interface? We go to our old friend, the command line, and then we say, uh, we activate it, and we say sudo raspi. Uh, I think it's dash raspi config. Okay, boom, here we are. <coughs> Let me uh, see if I can pull this over a little bit. Okay, you can't quite read, goes off the screen just a little bit, but you use the down arrow key and you come down to three, which is enable boot to desktop. Okay, so you go to three and then you right arrow. The arrow to the right takes you to select. When you're select, you click enter. And what we've been logging on, we have been logging on or booting up into the console, into the console that requires login. And so that's the terminal window that comes up the black screen that you type in and then do all the typing. What I want to show you is you can also have it boot up into the graphical desktop. So you go down to graphical desktop, you go over to OK, and then boom. <clears throat> now you go to the right twice until you get to finish. Now you click enter. All right, it's asking me if I want to reboot. Yes, I'm going to reboot, and guess what? It is going to take a second to reboot, and so I'm going to click enter, and then we are going to just sit here and chat a little while because the Raspberry Pi is rebooting as we speak, and it will take a second for the Raspberry Pi to come up in its new shiny, fancy graphical interface. All right, what I will say is, even though I'm showing you how to use the graphical interface, really the command line is better. Just stay familiar with that command line. Know how to operate a computer from the command line. And what I find is, I can move files, copy files, I can do things quicker from the command line than drag, you know, open in a folder, clickety, 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 drag, try to get another one, clickety, 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 drag and drop, all of that nonsense. I can do the same thing in one quick command from the terminal. And so I encourage you to stay proficient at the terminal and I encourage you to you know continue to work from the terminal because that's really the way to, to stay you know to understand how a computer works okay I need to connect now I think we should be booted and so let's bring up the new fancy Raspberry Pi and so okay look at that boom we have booted we have booted the Raspberry Pi let me get this uh, we have booted the Raspberry Pi in this fancy graphical interface. Okay, it looks a lot like Windows. Now let's look at some of the things we can do here. If you click this, what do you get? You get your old friend, the terminal window. You get your old friend, the terminal window that we have learned so much in the last 32 lessons. And so, see, we can still do LS, we can still do PWD, where am I? I'm in home slash pi, change directory root. You can do an LS, I'm at the root, change directory back to my uh, home, LS. See, boom, 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 see how fast that is? Okay, what you have now though is you have this little filing cabinet and you can click there and where am I? I'm in slash home slash pi. Remember the folder we made, my Python, with all those Python programs that we did? Look at them, there they are. Now I can edit it instead of using nano. Let's see, I can open with, uh, and I can open with, let's see, go down to uh, 
accessories. Let's see if there's some sort of uh, text editor. Okay, uh, and there I am. I can edit the program with black on white and sort of more more modern looking. So you can see that the file structure is the same. All the folders and files are in the same place. But what you can do now is you can get to them using uh, a folder system. You can also see that you've got a trash can and you could take something and you could drop it in the trash can. <coughs> or you could put rm space bright.py. You know, you can do it from the terminal window or you can do it from the graphical window. There's different stuff on here you might be interested in. There's uh, a calculator. You see I can do 9 times 3 equals 27. I can come over here and uh, there's the file manager. I can look at pictures with this. I can view PDF files. I can look at what processes are running. I can run my terminal, my little friend the terminal. And then there is a simple text editor here that we can use. And so all of a sudden, it gets a lot friendlier and a lot more like a Windows machine. This will control the volume, as you're kind of familiar with. And then there is even a web browser. So let's look at the web browser. Takes a second to come up. Okay, let's look at my uh, favorite website, which is my Civil War website you should visit someday. I don't know if it'll actually display, display on the Pi Sun of the South.net. I don't know, I've never even tried to look at the website. Uh, oh, look at that. That looks pretty good. What I did was I took all the newspapers from the Civil War. Uh, and I posted them on this website. So like you can go to say 1863. It shows you all the newspapers from 1863 and you can click on one of them and it will take you into it where you can see the whole uh, you can see the whole page and read. So those are the thumbnails of the pages. Or you can come down <clears throat> and you can actually get a readable version of the newspaper. Okay, so I can look at my website on the Raspberry Pi using this web browser. I'll show you in future lessons how to how to kind of like tune this up with some cool things and get some stuff where it makes it a little more useful. But at this point, what you can see is, is that should you choose to, you can boot in the graphical user interface. Paul McWhorter, Top Tech Board. This is lesson number 33. If you like the graphical user interface, give me a thumbs up. Think about sharing this. Leave some comments. Let me know that you guys are out there. Let me know that I'm not just sitting here talking to myself on these lessons. I appreciate your feedback. Paul McWhorter, I will talk to you guys later.